Ran here, and this is my LAN rig, uh, my all AMD rig. It's a 5600 uh, X3D with a great be quiet dark rock four cooler and the 7900 XTX. Now, my 7900 XTX has been crashing a lot lately, and I'm not sure why. You know, I've been a vigorous defender of AMD drivers, and here I have a problem. So I'm going to troubleshoot this thing and make sure it's not the GPU, it's not me, or it's not the drivers. I'm going to try to figure out which one it is and get this thing working again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out my 7900 XTX reference model, and I'm going to put it into my test bench to make sure that it's not the GPU itself. So let's go ahead and do that. It's funny, the test bench... Is actually actually has the old 5600X from the LAN PC. So it should be a pretty good uh, bench to figure out if this thing is working or not. So I'll be right back once I get it on. You got to be real careful when you remove these things. Uh, the last thing you want to do is like just dab a screwdriver in there or make it where you can't get it out because you don't want to accidentally damage the PCB uh, and destroy the card and get an RMA denied. All right, so now we've got my... Uh, 7900 XTX reference model out so let's get it on the test bench and see what's going on with it hey guys didn't feel the need to OBS this one as we're only at 1080p I'm on my test monitor I just wanted to check everything out all right so we've been running this for I don't know about 30 40 minutes now and you can see the GPU temp and the hot spot this is stock settings all I did was play with the fan curve you can see it running on the bench right here so I really don't think I have any issue with um, the hot spot, so we can rule that out. Now let's run a few benchmarks on games that it was crashing on on my old rig. Crewman back, so I wouldn't run the Horizon benchmark before it would crash. I mean, the benchmark takes a long time to load, but it's running it and there's zero issues. So I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with the PC and not the graphics card, especially since I'm on the latest drivers. So this is positive. We're going to run this, and then I'm going to probably run it again, and I'll be back with an update. Okay, so benchmark 1 was finished. I'm going to run this again, and then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to import my overclock settings from my last PC to see if that does anything to it as well. So I'm going to just run this one more time, and then I'm going to import my OCs, and I'll be right back. All right, second pass, it works fine. So I'm going to go ahead and overclock this thing with my old overclock settings, my original ones, and we'll see if everything plays nice. And if it does, I'll try one or two more games, and then I'm tending to think that maybe I need to just reformat the hard drive of my old computer, or maybe look at the XMP profile. Alright guys, I'll be right back. One thing to notice, I actually don't have the RAM overclocked at all, or XMP profile. So I'm going to actually take it to 3200, which is what it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to see if there's an issue. And I might actually enable XMP profile as well and see if maybe that was the issue on my original computer as well because people were saying that could be a problem. So I'm going to try to recreate those conditions on the bench real quick. All right, so I'm going to set it to 3200, and then I'm going to try to run the benchmarks and see if I'm causing any crashes because... Right now you can see the memory is at 2133. Now that it honestly makes too much of a difference, but like I said, I want to try to recreate, recreate those problems and see if it causes, if it makes a difference. All right, so I'm running the benchmark again at stock settings with the RAM overclocked. Well, not really overclocked, but clocked to its standard memory. So let's see if we have any problems. I'll be right back if I have a crash or have any issues. Okay, so it didn't crash. I'm obviously at the engine cap because nothing is improving, and that's fine. Uh, now I'm going to attempt to overclock it with my overclock settings and see if it runs. And if it does, then I'm probably going to up it the resolution to 1440 and then 4K and make sure it runs in all of those. And if I don't have any issues, I think at this point it's safe to say that it's probably my PC and that I'll probably just have to reformat it. So I will be right back. All right, so I got my old overclocks for my YouTube video and I actually adjusted them a little bit accordingly. I'm gonna run 3D Mark, make sure this is stable, and I'm gonna run the Horizon benchmark one more time on 1080, and then I'm gonna to move to 1440 and run it both the stock and um, overclocked, and we'll see what happens. And then I'm gonna to go to 4K. So I'll be right back with all of those results. So this is interesting. I just ran TimeSpy and I got a 22101 which is 
pretty good considering that when I was messing around with my other overclocks on the last rig, the best thing I got was a 19, uh, 19600, 697, and I was running a better G, uh, CPU with the 5600X3D considering this one has a 5600X. So I'm definitely starting to think it's something with my other computer and not the card, but I am gonna run the um, Horizon benchmarks real quick at at least 1440p and 1080, and I'll share my results from there. Okay, running the benchmark with the overclock settings. Let's see if it's stable, because this is when I first started to find issues on the old PC was running Horizon on overclocked. Uh, with, I'm sorry, running the Horizon benchmark with my overclocked graphics card. And it's, it's running, so let's let it finish, and I'll come back in a second. All right, so it worked. So we definitely have an FPS cap, as I've already said. Let's move to 1440p. All right, so we moved over from the 1080p display to the 1440p display, and it works. Everything's great, so we're going to run the benchmark right now, and I reset it back to stock profile, but we are still using the 3200 RAM timings. All right, so I ran it stock settings at 1440, no issues. Let's go overclock it. We're basically hitting the, the monitor cap as well. I don't think I'll notice any improvement on the overclock till 4K, but I'm really starting to think that this GPU works fine and that, like I said, it was my computer. Running the benchmark on 4K on with the overclock supplied. Let's see if it stays stable. Hey guys, you can see that it worked just fine. It didn't crash. Uh, I'm not going to go to 4K. I'm going to go to Cyberpunk. And I just, I'm curious to see the difference between stock and OC settings. And we'll see what I get. And I'll come back in a minute. I also pushed the overclocks to uh, probably about the furthest I want to go. And I upped it to score to a 22166 on this PC. Which, I mean, it's, I guess it's the average from the same hardware. A little bit off the best, but, you know, I don't have anything. I don't have the CPU overclocked. And my RAM isn't the best. So... Maybe that's why I'm not getting the best. But anyway, now I'm going to try Cyberpunk, and then we will give you my conclusions. In the Cyberpunk benchmark, you can see all the settings I used. 41 FPS. Let's try the overclocks. And if this works, we're going to call this finished. All right, we got about a 10% FPS jump. So I guess it, it works, and everything is okay. So, you know, Basically what this means is that I'm tending to think something is wrong with the other PC. So I'm going to try two things. First is someone on Twitter said I should just double check that there's not a problem with the motherboard and like the, uh, the PCIe slot. So I'll take a 3070, I will toss it in, and then I will just double check to see if there's any issues. Then on top of that, I will uh, probably just, you know, if there's no issues, I'll probably just reformat this. And we'll just try everything again on this PC. Because like I said, it just kind of started happening out of the blue. So let's go ahead and get another GPU on this. Uh, the but GPU's fault, the software's fault, or my fault. And I'm starting to believe that it's not the GPU and it's not the software. So I'm starting to think it's my PC's fault. The final thing we're going to do, got a 3080 put in here. And we're going to just run some benchmarks real quick and double check that there's not an issue with the PCB. So I will be right back. So I wanted to check to make sure the PCIe bracket wasn't messed up. So I'm running the 3080, as you can see right here, on the same PC that the 7900 XTX used to be on. And it's running the benchmark just fine. So I think it's gotta be something with maybe Windows. Uh, what I actually think I'm gonna do one more time is I'm gonna put this GPU back in here and try to run some similar tests. Uh, so I'll be back when that's uh, when that's done guys so it looks like I updated to the latest drivers I put the 7900 XTX back in here and I ran the benchmark and it worked so we're gonna run it one more time just to double check it and then I'm going to uh, import the overclock settings I got from this one into this PC and I'm gonna test them out and see if there's any other issues uh, you know <laughs> I'm kind of speechless with what's going on right now, but let me do some more testing and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, crew man back. So I don't know what happened, but I, I, once I figured out that this PC, my LAN rig right here, worked just fine, I basically thought to myself 
let's just pop this back in and see what happens. So I popped it back in. I ran the Horizon Zero Dawn benchmark again on this 1080p monitor and it didn't crash, no issues. I tried overclocking it. Now this is the new overclock I made. It actually is a little better than the old one. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I'll probably share this in another video. Anyway, so I tried overclock, I tried it again and it worked just fine. And when I run Cyberpunk, it runs it just fine. Gets about 44 FPS with everything maxed out on 1440p. And it worked just fine, as you can see right here. <laughs> Look, I don't know what happened, but I mean, using the latest AMD driver, I am running what I think is a pretty good overclock, and everything is working. So, thanks for watching this video as I went through the steps to troubleshoot. I fixed the problem. Uh, I don't really know what I did. Uh, maybe it was literally just taking the GPU out and reseeding it. I thought that maybe Afterburner was a problem. I installed it in this PC, but it worked just fine. As you see in previous in the video, it worked just fine um, with Afterburner on the test bench. But I just, I you know, I, I think this video is good just to watch so people can see how you troubleshoot. And sometimes you just don't have an answer. So it wasn't AMD. It wasn't my PC. And it wasn't me. Maybe it was just as simple as taking the GPU out and resetting it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I hope at the very least this video was entertaining, uh, entertaining in how you troubleshoot problems. And sometimes you don't even have an answer for what's wrong. Croup man.